Guys, happy holidays everybody. Today we are going to go over my holiday gift giving guide coming up. This is Cooking with CJ, the show about cooking, drinking, barbecue, and all the other stuff that goes along with it. I am not a chef, I am not a bartender, I am not a pit master, but I play all three on TV. I'm gonna show you how to make quick, easy, tasty recipes and have a little bit of fun along the way. So let's get this party started. What's up everybody, welcome to Cooking with CJ, I'm CJ, and if you're a returning subscriber part of CJ's crew, you know I love you. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that red subscribe button and that bell next to it, because you gotta be part of that notification squad, and then you get the alerts on all what we're doing here. All right, so what are we doing here today? We are going over my holiday gift giving guide to uh, the chef in your life, the griller in your life, the pit master in your life, whatever. All right, these are the tools that I use every week of the year, all right? So I'm going through the little things that I use and I wanna share them with you. Guys, this is something I like to do every year, but I will be honest and straightforward with you. It's also to help the channel out because there are Amazon links for all these items down below, all right? So I will be transparent with you. I hope you guys, if you see anything here, you use my Amazon link. It doesn't cost you anything more to use it, but it helps out the channel, all right? And I have some really good gear here. And again, it's what I use every week for my cooking show, for my home life, whatever, okay? So trust me on that one, all right? I wouldn't steer you wrong. These are real simple, really nice gifts, okay? So the first thing we're gonna talk about is cooking with CJ merch because this freaking cap making me Santa CJ. It's hot, it's itchy, I don't freaking like it. So, ta-da! Cooking with CJ merch, links down below. If you want a hat like this, just email, email me, we'll get you hooked up, all right? <sighs> so much better. What the hell? This, I, I'm, not, I'm not Steve from Not Another Cookie Show. I cannot wear beanies while I'm cooking. All right, so we're gonna put that over there. All right, so the first thing we're gonna go through besides merch, we're gonna talk about the pit barrel cooker items, all right? So these things have been sent to me from pit barrel cooker, and I, you know, I use them for everything. I don't just use them for my pit barrel, okay? This, this, so these, uh, these, these items will be down below. Every, well, I'll say everything, but most everything from pit barrel comes with a bottle opener, and I am loving that. Like, bottle opener. This is what you use to get the hangers out. I use these all the time on the grill, whether I'm using the pit barrel or not. Bottle cap opener. <laughs> and then the other things are, there's a, a carving knife that came with the, the carving fork. Uh, and then we got the chef knife, beautiful chef knife. The mask is still beautiful. beautiful. All right. So we're going to keep going on the knife route right here. These are three knives that I use um, quite often. We have the sli the 2-0 slicing blade, and we're using that for we're using that for our briskets, for our uh, roasts, you know, stuff like that. Real long blades, so you can get real clean slice from it. So give it a go. All right, this thing right here, <laughs> this Berghoff <laughs> Berghoff uh, fillet knife, Mrs. CJ bought this for me and thought it would be a little bit smaller, but it turned out to be a pretty hefty knife. But I use this a lot, especially when I'm trimming my ribs or getting any kind of fats off. It's, it's pretty sturdy, it's, there's not a lot of bend to it, but it's been a very good knife for me. Okay, so we'll put that back up here. Last one right here, my buddy Aaron, my best friend in the world right here, gave me this Shun Chef knife. I love this thing, I use it quite a bit. Uh, when he got married a couple years ago, I was his best man, as I should be, and he got this for me as a groom's gift, and uh, I love it. So, this one's a bit more pricey than the other knives we got here, but it's solid, heavy duty quality. The balance is ridiculous, it's, it's beautiful. Okay, how we can keep our knives sharp and straight? Well, we have our Shun honing blade, which a lot of people, a lot of people think these are used to sharpen your knife. And you know, 
little bit maybe, but these are more to keep your blade straight, okay? All right, real simple, okay? So you gotta have one of these. I use it pretty much every time I do some chopping. I'll go and give it a honing. Next thing that I use right here is from Cutco. Now we have a big knife block full of Cutco knives. And uh, this is a knife sharpener. It has two, two uh, diamond cut edges right here. And you just drag your knife through. All right, I don't recommend doing it in the air, but I'm showing you how we do it. All right, it's, it's sturdy for the, for the counter. Just drag it up, and you got a sharp knife. Okay, real simple, real effective, works really well. Okay, next thing. I've gotten questions on these so much. Tovolo, their barbecue prep trays. Uh, they remind me of the old trays from uh, <laughs> from uh, uh, school, when you're getting your school lunch in the cafeteria. I have about six of these. Uh, they come in packs of twos. Uh, I don't do any kind of grilling without them, all right? So they're just, they're perfect to transfer things outside. It's a non-porous surface, so I, you know, cut my meat on there a little bit, or I'll do some trimming, or I'll do all my uh, seasoning and prep on there. So it's, it's really easy to clean, dishwasher safe, dig it, all right? Next thing is my booze board, my cutting board. And in that same vein, the items that come with it or the items you need to make sure you take care of your booze chopping block uh, really well. We got the booze block mystery oil. We have the booze block board cream. You use them in conjunction with each other. So the mystery oil is you lightly cover the board, let it set for 24 hours, absorb the oil, and then you add your, um, you add your board cream to it. This thing I thought was really cool. It came with the cream and the oil. Is it looks like a little shoe shiner, but you use this to get the oil and the, the cream into the board. So I would definitely give these a try. And again, you guys, if you're fans of my show, you know that I use all these. You see them in all the videos. All right. The next thing I want to talk about are my thermometers. So I have a Thermo Pro Instant Read. All right, so it, it collapses on itself. It's like that pocket has a magnet on the back. Um, push the button, it releases. I use this even when I'm using my wired thermometers or my wireless thermometer. I use this as a kind of a backup checking. So make sure you get you one of these, especially if you're working out on the grill. Uh, you wanna make sure you're, you're cooking to the right temperatures. Um, more or less, we're not cooking the time anymore. We're not baking cakes around here. We are cooking meat and you need right temperatures on the meat. Okay, so keep that in mind. Next thing to go along with the temperature thing is the meat stick wireless thermometer. I've used this many times now and uh, it's worked out well for me. And you've seen it in a lot of my videos. I really enjoy using this. I like that it has a little extender on it. The range can go up to 300. 300 feet, which is fine. You know, I'm usually in here while we're cooking or, you know, watching the game or whatever. So it works out well. You got an app on your phone, pay attention that way. Okay. I think it works really well. I use it on the grill. I use it on the rotisserie, which is perfect for the rotisserie because there's no wire to it, right? Just spin it around, works out well. I use it in my Ninja Foodie grill. All right, I didn't get the pro version that came with a, a it came with a temperature probe, you know, already plugged in. So I've been using this on my Ninja Foodie grill because I've been grilling a lot of meat in there. I want to make sure it turns out perfectly. So far, this has not let me down. I think it works very well. It works well for me. I've done, you know, probably at least 100 cooks with it by now, and I've had no issues. Last thing, and I don't have it in front of me, we're going to talk about the Ninja Foodie grill. Guys, if you've been watching my channel, if you've been watching my channel for a while now, you know the Ninja Foodie grill is where it's at. Guys, I wouldn't steer you wrong, all right? I've reviewed a lot of things. I've worked on a lot of uh, gadgets, smokers, whatever. The Ninja Foodie Grill is where it's at. If you live in an apartment, if you live in somewhere where the, the uh, weather's bad, get yourself one of these Ninja Foodie Grills. Uh, I'll link in the iCard my review of it, my first use of it. Um, you know, at some point I'll put a link for the, all the cooks on it. But guys, trust me when I say, you'll love this. It's an indoor grill. 
you bake, you roast. It's an air fryer. I've done so much with it. So guys, make sure you guys get yourself one of these. So guys, that's my holiday gift giving guide. These are the items I've been using this year the most. So I wanted to share them with you and you know, give you the opportunity to get them yourself so you can cook like CJ, all right? I hope you all have a wonderful holiday season. Thank you all for being here and supporting Cooking with CJ. It's been another great year. Uh, looking for big things in the future. Can't wait to have you all be a part of it. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for Cooking with CJ. Take care.